All right, I'm gonna do these one at a time so that we're really clear and concise about um, these classes. Actually, let's let's sidetrack here. I'm gonna talk about recipes. We'll get back to these guys. I know we're in the middle class challenges, but this really helps with the thought pattern that I have on the way that I want the classes to feel or would redesign them. Um, let's look at the accoutrement that's available to our players. We have a litany of weapons. That's right, we have five basic types of weapons. Each weapon is built different, and each weapon has a different play style. You have your, what I would call your assault rifle, your AoE, it's got medium speed, medium area of effect, and, uh, you know, good damage. Then you have your villager axe, which has a low area effect, high attack speed, and, well, good damage to single target. Then you have the hammer, which has a very slow attack speed, a really good area of effect, and, uh, well, good strong damage. Then you have the bow. The thing that, well, one guy said, hey, we should put bows in the game. The other guys were like, fine, I guess. And then they forgot about bows. Um, and they kind of neglect bows as a whole. So I only say this because I play a ton of ranger, and after playing all the other class challenges, I definitely feel like the bow gets forgotten a lot. We'll get into this later, but... Bows are there, we had to have a ranged weapon. Um, then we added in the spear because we need more weapons than just these three and our forgotten stepchild. And of course we have the spear, which is the newest one um, that plays really well. It's really fun and you have a nice range, a good knockback, and it's always fun being a spear wielder. I personally, when I play RPGs, I really lean into the spear if I get to pick a melee weapon. My preferred style is shield spear, but I understand that that is extremely rare, as most times people see the spear as a two-handed weapon, which I understand. Moving on. So, those are our five basic weapons. You have your greys, which are pretty easy to make. You have two that require stone, two that require wood, and one that requires iron. Hum. More on that later. Down here, we get into our stronger versions of the other weapons. So there you go. We have our five, and then we have the ones that are good at what they're doing. So if you just want to keep going with the swords, you just move your way up through the Hesir sword. You raider, you move your way through the raider. And then, of course, you have the feral. Hesir sword goes up to three. This is, I've killed a bunch of camps here in the Bright Forest. Raider axes, I've killed a bunch of wolves, and I went to the land of pools once. And Feral Hammer is, I went to the Land of Pools and I killed a bunch of camps. In short, it's pretty much just the blue versions of the starters. Um, these are easy to make to pick up, but then you'll move to these fairly quickly uh, if you're running any of this. Now we get to the good stuff. Alright, we talked about all the normal, boring, no element, doesn't do anything. Let's get into the nitty gritty where we have blues and purples and greens about. And I'm just going to make a note here. I'm ignoring everything that spins golden horns because I'm not spending golden horns on a weapon. Sorry, you don't need to and there's plenty of other cosmetics and stuff to buy as an early player to where once you get to late enough in the game where you go, fine, I'm gonna spend golden horns every time I do a run, then do that. Follow your dreams. But for the most part, you really don't need it. So for all intent and purposes, we're gonna talk about just greens, blues, and purples. And I guess gray. Alright, so the way it's broken down is there's five weapons and four elements. Each weapon does not have all of each type, which immediately sounds weird to me when I say it out loud, and it's something that's bothered me for a while. Um, most of these are released in pairs. So for an example, you have Nornir and Nornir. Nornir, Nornir. Nornir. Alright, so we get it. Nornir is all about lightning. Cool. Nornir is a lightning guy. So, Nornir Axe, Nornir Bow. Kind of gives a little breakdown. It's literally just copy and paste. Um, it literally just changes the word in the description from axe to bow. And it does the same thing for armor. But not to call them out like that. I mean, kind of call them out like that. This piece of armor. So. Whoops. Oh, and guess what? The Nornir shield says shield. So, yeah, look at that. Haha. <laughs> anyway. So, moving on. Um, 
Nornir, Nornir for the Lightning. The other Lightning pair, because we're two out of five, is Albus and Albus. Great, we're four out of five. And what's our fifth missing one? Oh no, there's no Lightning Sword. Well, this is technically untrue because there's a gold. But again, for all of this entire demonstration, we're not talking about these guys down here, because Fornaught and Baldur's are entire sets that were made as an afterthought. And Elvagar. Poor Elvagar. Didn't even get an armor set to go with. Again, they hate bows. I don't. It's in my roadmap. I need to make an Elvagar set. And I probably also need to make do something with this legendary stuff, because it's non-symmetrical and, well, it's feeling weird. Anywho, so, <clears throat> moving on. Golvigs is a sword and an axe. Embers is a bow and spear. And then we have the Muspelheim, which is the fifth one. Um, where's the Muspelheim's pair? There's not a six Muspelheim. And there's not a second iron starter. Hmm. More on that later. All right. So then for Dark, we have Sedir. We have the two serpents, which were released with the Serpent Saga, um, hence the serpent thing going on. And of course, Siggins, another solo. A Siggins solo, <laughs> a Sadir solo, and then the two um, Dark Serpent Tongue and Serpent Nasher. But Pansy, there's four out of five. Right, because for some reason, in the roadmap, we, we, we built two dark swords that do mildly different things, but one's just better than the other. I'm not sure why. But here we are, so, so that's so that's a thing. Um, technically, you're right, there is no dark bow. Um, sorry, Elvagar. There is no dark bow, and there is no dark... I'm blanking. Spear, that's what it is. There's no dark bow, there's no dark spear. Um, which is quite unfortunate, um, considering how for spear your options are literally fire or lightning, and half lightning at that point. So yes, there's no dark spear and no dark bow, um, which would be on my roadmap to fill out my entire lovely chart of things that I need to put into the game. Golvig has Five out of five. Fire, sorry, let me back up. Five out of five for fire. They're doing great. Muspelheim needs a pair to get to that everything having a pair. Um, Siggins ruins a lot of things, but that's okay. Just kidding. Siggins will actually get a secondary uh, friend. Um, I'm going to talk about these here in a bit. They're kind of screwing up a lot of the, the pattern, but I think I know why. So, and then, hey, we, we forgot about our lost element that no one ever talks about, is old, good old Utgard. Poor Utgard. Um, Utgard just, just gets the the short end of the stick. Um, if there was a bow of elements, it's ice. And hey, look, there's an ice bow, the most neglected weapon. Um, which, maybe maybe I just should run an orphanage, because that's, that's what I play. I really enjoy playing with the ice bow um, as a seer, so there we are. Uh, moving on, so we have, you know, pairs of elements. Um, lightning's good against dark, dark's good against lightning, fire's good against ice, ice is good against fire. Now surely, there's every weapon type for every element, right? Right? Wrong. Wrong, wrong indeed. Um, unless you play fire or you play axe, <laughs> there's gaps. There's a lot of gaps to fill in, um, which would be at the top of my roadmap of filling in those gaps. So let's let's kind of jump into here. So we have Nornir Axe, we have Golvig, we have Utgard, we have Serpent Nasher. That's all four elements for axes. For swords, we're pretty close. We have Golvig and Serpent Tongue. Just kidding, we're not pretty close. We have two Dark Blades for no reason. Your options are Fire or Dark if you want to play with a sword. Um, if you want to play with a hammer, you can pick between Dark Fire or lightning, and this lightning one's only viable if you collect all one. Was it spend a million? Yeah, spend a million souls, then you can unlock this one. Um, so yeah, fire, lightning, or dark for hammers. Um, for spears, you have fire and lightning, and the lightning doesn't even go to three for some reason because well, they just 
They're like, it's good enough. you got to fish for it anyway, and people aren't going to like fishing. And they were right. Fishing has not been received terribly well, because it's imp implemented uh, not very well either. Uh, so, on my roadmap. And bows. Bows actually did not get a short end of the stick, luckily for them, because they have lightning, ice, and fire. Um, they just need a dark one, and they will be good to go. So, what needs to happen to fill in the gaps? Well, for starters, let's start with lightning. Um, lightning needs one other person, besides Elvis and Nornir, to fill in their last two missing pieces. So lightning needs a spear to be added, lightning needs a sword track to be added, and our next weapon, which we are missing to round us out to six weapons, that should be a ranged weapon. Um, more in this later. What does fire need? Well, fire doesn't need anything, because fire has everything. Fire has a sword, fire has an axe, fire has a bow, fire has a spear, fire has a hammer. Um, just, they'll need that sixth weapon as well to be the second Muspelheim pair. Um, and then, Dark. Dark's got a sword, Dark's got an axe, Dark's got a hammer, just needs a bow and a spear. And then that third weapon type, or the uh, sixth weapon type to round that out um, will be really nice. So you'll need a partner, number four, for Setier, so a Setier's bow. And then you will need Sigin's uh, wand or staff. Oh, there it is, the big reveal, folks. Yes, that's right. In my roadmap, there is coming up with a lovely staff, of course. You're going to have an iron staff, so you'll be able to start with iron, um, give much more of a magic user. It is a ranged weapon that runs on a mana system. Uh, it builds up with charge and, well, the more you cast it, you run through it and you gotta let that recharge over time. Not terribly annoying, but actually gives you a lot of reason to switch. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, you're gonna get an iron staff. Have fun with that. So that'll round out the pairs. You'll have a muscle iron staff, You'll have a Sigin staff, um, whatever the third piece or the third friend in the lightning category besides uh, Albus or um, Nornir is. Goldbig has uh, all that stuff. And Serpent Serpent, Sigin and Setir. And of course, we get to poor Utgard, who, well, Ice needs some lovin's, folks. Um, Ice really needs to get its next set. Um, it is missing a sword, a hammer, a spear, and it will be missing a staff. So you'll need another partner. We'll call him, well, Steve. So you'll need Steve's staff and Steve's spear. And then uh, we'll call it, we'll say Jotunheim, because that's, or we'll just say Gurdir, because he's, or Fornot. There you go. We are used Fornot, so let's put some for, Fornot in here. Um, so you can have four knots staff and four knots sword. So there you go. You finish that out. So those things would definitely be on my roadmap trying to finish all of those out. Get a nice even balance. Um, so depending on who I am as a person, just say, hey, you know what? I'm really feeling like I want to play with a lightning spear. Great. I can play with a lightning spear all the way through. Or you know what? I'm really big into the ice element and I like the hammer play style. Oh, well, that's not an option for you. Sorry. Try again, kid. Um, which is, I personally, is it feels bad, and I would work quite hard on trying to round that out so I could pick a weapon type and pick an element and then go from there as my starting point as a player. Um, I'm going to talk briefly about Siggins and Muspelheim because they kind of ruin a lot of stuff with their build-out. Um, one, they can go up to gold, which means one of two things. Either A, they don't fall in the categories of the rest of the symmetry of everything else, and that means that we will need a second fire hammer in um, to make it even more symmetrical. But <clears throat> there's a couple ways to rectify the fact that we already have two dark blades as well. Um, the first being, we switch out the whole void thing. This whole dark style... A uh, uh, quick quick little note here for those following along at home. Paralyzed. We don't know what that does. They didn't do a very good job um, listing that. That's on my roadmap of things that I want to get done is explaining what this does and showing percent chances. Um, 
I'd also probably come up with a little uh, demonstrator showing a video if I hovered over it showing what throw looks like and what bright cry looks like and what paralyze looks like. Um, so each one of the abilities having just a little picture window of a video of a guy doing it um, so I can get a better feel for those weapons and get me excited about those weapons. Anyway, lightning. Paralyze, it's been rumored to where it actually stuns enemies occasionally. It's quite rare. Um, it's really rare. So, void. This is supposed to be armor rend. Um, it's supposed to break armor and make enemies easier to hit, which is very nice and gives a good purpose to dark. Uh, the main downside is, hey, we still want those icons so we can see if we're actually applying these things, and so I can get a feel of, hey, look, I'm actually applying it. Look at look at my look at me doing things, because the visual effects do not do not register well. Um, so from a top down, what's really important in games with top downs, so you have to have stuff read well. So if your visual effects don't read well, then it's not being translated to the players, and that whole mechanic gets lost. You could have an entire mechanic not be listed in the game at all, and if it doesn't read well, players would have no idea that it's existed, like it exists, that it's there, that it's even a purpose. Um, yeah, so so in short, make sure your stuff reads well, or just have the ability to toggle icons for players so that they can actually see what's going on. Uh, burn is supposed to add a DOT over time. See what I did there? It's one of those things where it's like ASA possible. As soon as ASAP, yeah, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, adds a damage over time um, effect for the burn. Cold's supposed to do a slow um, to slow down your targets, which, why the axe has the slow is weird, but I feel like the bow would actually get some use out of slow since you're trying to keep distance and has some effect. Anyway, so, hey look, more void, and more void again. Um, these were added in whenever we got to the Serpent Saga, and the Serpent Saga is all about poison. Um, as you'll note here in the Serpent Armor, it gives you Poison Proof, a ability, or a perk, that makes you take less damage from poison and you take less mana reduction from poison. When you're poisoned, you just have mana drain. Um, the downside to this is that there's exactly two sources of well, maybe three, but two sources of poison in the game that exist, and that's um, the arrows coming from uh, the beacon. I forget what those are called. Hideout? Outpost? What? I, I don't know. You go into the beacon camps, and they got the arrows shooting at you that poison you. And Yorgamander poisons you. Um, maybe the Selkies poison you, but it doesn't read well enough to where I can actually tell, like, oh, hey, I'm actually getting poisoned by these guys. Um, and I'm not running through poison traps or anything, so it's very, very, very niche. Um, so I think the intention was that it was going to be a poison element, um, the opposite of normal, to add another pairing, uh, but instead they just wrapped it into dark, so I can see a world in which you take the turban stuff and move it to an entirely different element, and then add in more stuff. Um, so that way you have six pairings instead of the five with the four elements. So, uh, the other, the other way that you fix this is you just say fine. Like I just have two, and you give everything a gold level, um, so you can bump everything up to a gold tier, giving them all gold abilities, um, making them very very good at what they do, which would also be fine. So, I will come down here and talk about these just for a second. I really don't like the the gold um, weapons. They're kind of like, hey, I have golden horns to burn, and I'm just gonna buy it. Um, for some reason I need to kill a fifth Yotun, but outside of that you really don't need them for the Saga bosses, or the Ancients by any stretch. Um, Elvigar doesn't even have armor to go with it, um, and you have to get healthing crowns and rings, which means you just go buy them. Um, so don't really know why you're using a Dark Bow anyway. Um, the knockback skill's not very good, because it's the same one from the Frostbow, and I used a bunch. And uh, spoilers, your allies can... Like be in the way, and it can collide with your allies, and just they'll soak the attack. So um, I would probably either fix that to where it ignores ally collision, um, or just make it towards more of a straight shot and not an arcing shot, like it is. They changed all the main melee attacks, for, or main uh, left clicks. Um, so it's going to be a uh, um, difference between. Let me let me rephrase all the way. This is trying to be said. The standard basic attack for bow used to be arcing, and now it is a straight laser beam forward. 
Um, knockback is still in that arcing style, so uh, that probably should be changed to a straightforward and definitely should ignore ally collision. Um, same thing with the explosive arrows, also collide on allies, which is making bows even worse. And man, they just don't like the bows. Um, poor bows. So, um, Four Knot and Balder were kind of an afterthought. They put in all the fun elements just to get started, just to have enough to play, a nice variety. And then they went and they said, oh, let's make some gold sets. Great, let's come up with two gold sets from two heroes from um, Norse Legends. So they had Balder and Fornot, the Lightning and Frost guys. You know, kind of heroic elements. And they have them do cool stuff, which is really neat. And then, of course, they wanted rewards for you getting, um, you know, Hey, I killed Finrir, so now I have his Fang, and I killed Jorgamator, and I have his Maw, and I killed Surtur, so I have his Spire. Um, these, for the most part, are just fun. They're strong, but it's really not worth getting the four golden points. It's pretty expensive, um, and it's not going to synergize with any other builds out there because you don't get normal benefits. So the max you're going to get is plus 10%. Um, so you can definitely make a case for Baldur's Blade because you can get plus 30% off the Lightning and a Sword benefit, or even plus Fire and plus. Uh, Spear, which is only one class that does that right now, to get the plus 30% to optimize on the server tree. So, um, so yeah, lots of gaps to fill in, uh, maybe some tweaks, especially with explaining what Paralyze does. We'd love to see the um, little windows in the corner showing what's going on uh, whenever you use those skills and what those skills look like, and kind of show the effect of what they're going to do. So, um, for the most part, they do match kind of a theme. Lightning is all about stunning and healing. Um, Setter Hammer is all about creating uh, armor roofs and lifesteal. Fire is all about damage and damage and damage and damage. Um, and then Cold is about keeping distance as well as doing defensive buffs. Um, so, a nice, a nice variety of play. I do really like how Lightning is pretty dedicated to healing while Frost is dedicated to defense. Um, but the unfortunate part is you're playing with fire. Like, that's just the short of it. Everybody can use fire really well. It does a lot of damage. Um, so fire is very, very heavy, uh, which to me is out of elemental balance and is on my roadmap of things to change. So 